So, somebody could have expected you to fall or wanted to see you fall or fail. Um, they wanted to cause an imbalance here. But maybe you didn't cry, and that gave you an advantage, especially if you deal with energy and alchemy, you're able to alchemize energy. Something needs to be balanced out. There could be something involving a child or somebody who's acting childish. New wish is granted. You could also be getting um, your child something regarding a child. You could be a child. You could have a child. There's something regarding a child that's being granted. But someone is about to fall. The person who wished ill will on you is about to fall because those scales have to be balanced out um, because they wanted you to cry and you didn't cry instead you bossed up and you did what you needed to do um, they couldn't affect you energetically they tried to sacrifice they tried to make you sacrifice something possibly a child or they were acting childish by trying to force you to sacrifice something that meant a lot to you your wish is being granted something is being balanced out these scales um, something, something is being bound, balanced out in the spiritual realm, karmically, energetically. Somebody, somebody didn't expect to have to pay the price for what they did. They thought they got, they thought they got away with it. They were trying to stop something from changing with the transformation and the reverse. Somebody didn't want to change. Somebody didn't want to be of the light. Somebody kept doing some dark shit, and they kept trying to hurt someone over and over. And then we have wisdom that came out sideways, so that's now near future energy. So you have wisdom, you're smart, you have the wisdom of the ages here. You're connected, you're tapped in. And something is growing, something that someone tried to sever, it's growing back. Um, something is going to be returned to you, balance is going to be restored. You're all about growth and maturing and moving forward and leveling up. And these people wanted to stay in this low vibrational energy where... Um, they just wanted to keep hurting people or hurting you or somebody that's connected to you. They could have even hurt a child by doing this or used a child as a pawn or as a manipulation tool. Maybe they thought they would have you in despair if they could use a child against you. I'm hearing like something about having someone wrapped around someone's finger using a child. So someone could have tried to use a, a child to control somebody. And in fact, they were just hurting their own child or something, or they were acting childish. This is somebody that you could have been committed to, or somebody that um, you didn't offer a commitment to, or that didn't offer a commitment to you. Um, this could be a broken commitment, or somebody who um, maybe you were in a relationship with is connected to this in some sort of way. You could have walked away from this person, or they could have walked away from you. And these came out sideways sexuality someone is still figuring themselves out so somebody may not have offered you a commitment or they may have been going back and forth between sexes you know if they're bisexual they may not have wanted to offer you a commitment because they were struggling with you know who they want to settle down with or you know what their preferences are and we have distance you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant so there could be a physical distance or an emotional distance because somebody was not 100% committed. Even if you were in a relationship with this person, they were dabbling with somebody else or another sex. They want you to open up your heart and it will help you attract more love. So this person wants you to open up your heart to them, but they don't want to be committed to you. And there's an imbalance that um, this person created intentionally because you refused to settle or accept something for as it was. You know your worth, you know your value. Somebody scrambled to rush in to do something um, very quickly with the Knight of Wands. They rushed in with some sort of communication really quickly to do something. This could be traveling towards somebody else to communicate something. And there could be an investigation. Someone is spying here. There could be an emotional situation here. <clears throat> regarding a tower moment that's about to hit somebody may be emotional because they know a tower moment's coming and um it's like even if they don't want to accept it, it's coming they can feel it energetically there's a, there's a transformation coming death and rebirth something has to be balanced out here an emperor could be involved in masculine energy so there's a transformation coming either for an emperor or because of an emperor
There could be somebody um, investigating an emperor. Yeah, somebody was in despair because you're going to have victory. This is a yes card for you, whoever's in the upright here. Somebody was in despair over some something that they could have rushed in to do, something that they did quickly. There's a masculine energy here, the king of pentacles. There was a heartbreaking situation with the king of swords. So somebody was a liar. Somebody was very cold hearted. Yeah, they could have traveled towards somebody to make a slippery offer. So <clears throat> somebody was very cold hearted. So this could be um, two masculines that were dealing with each other. Um, and one traveled towards somebody else to offer them a slippery offer. Or somebody was dealing with another masculine behind the scenes. But someone found out that somebody was very evil and dark with the star in the reverse. So somebody had bad intentions when they traveled towards someone to do something, possibly be in a relationship with them, or maybe they just wanted a fling, but they were non-committal. There's going to be a reason to celebrate for this King of Pentacles, though. They're moving on to calmer waters here. <clears throat> There is a broken union because somebody was meeting up with someone. So, I mean, this could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be, but there's two masculines here. One was betrayed by the other. There was definitely somebody who was cold-hearted. They were, they were placing barriers in somebody's path because they were evil and dark. They could have made promises they couldn't keep. And this caused the breakup of a union. So there were some barriers regarding some relationship or a union or a partnership here. And someone could be receiving some sort of communication that's going to make them happy or be a cause for celebration. And that could be this King of Pentacles who's going to receive some sort of communication that's going to make them very happy about some sort of scales being balanced out. Somebody could have adoptive children or adopted children or treated like an, treated another person's children as if they were their own. So there's a king and queen of wands here so there's a this could be a married couple um i don't know if i i'm hearing i heard swingers i don't know um or an open relationship or something like that uh possibly they maybe deal with other people um there's a new start or new coming they got a message of concern there's a married couple here who got a message of concern that someone's getting a clean slate and they're going to have rest and relaxation here. So there's a couple here that were not very good. Um, they're not leadership. They could own a business, but they're not good. They're not natural born leaders. They don't know how to run a business. They don't deserve to be in a leadership position. They're not caring. They're not compassionate. <clears throat> they're very selfish um, and they're non-committal. Okay. So like everything they do, it's like they, they, you know, they're restless. They hop from person to person, place to place, thing to thing. Um, it can leave them disappointed. Um, it's like they're not ever happy with what they have or what they get. Yeah, there's an official person here who's going to get a clean slate with a hierophant energy. It could be a teacher, advisor, a spiritualist. After this time of sorrowful bullshit, you're going to enter into a period of rest because the cycle is over. There's a married couple here. Um, who were involved in this some sort of way and they were getting a message of concern or they got a message of concern about a cycle being over and somebody moving forward. And this has somebody in despair. Someone's in despair about somebody receiving justice and the scales being balanced out because they know when these scales are balanced out, they have hell to pay, especially karmically because they racked up a lot of um, spiritual karmic debt. So there could have been a king of swords <clears throat> Um, that lied to this married couple to have them doing something to a King of Pentacles energy, to attack a King of Pentacles energy, and this person is trying to move on, move away from this person, and if this is not a same-sex relationship, you know, you could be a feminine that's just in your masculine energy, so you have to take what resonates and figure out if this is your message, where you fall into this. 
because there's definitely a married couple here and then there's two other masculines so there were two masculines that were involved in a union or a relationship together possibly even secretly and then there's a married couple here they got a message of concern they could have partnered up <clears throat> with this cold-hearted king of swords to attack you know this king of pentacles to take options away um they didn't want someone to have options like i said they were very cold-hearted or this person this masculine was there's a message there's going to be some sort of message that someone is going to receive messenger that is going to bring them justice or that they achieved justice or that something is being balanced out <clears throat> Sometimes when people receive their karma, you don't see that firsthand, but maybe you hear about it later on because you're a high priestess, okay? So someone could be getting a message that you are a high priestess, something isn't going to work out in their favor. Um, they're concerned, they didn't know they were messing with the real one here. You have spiritual gifts, you're tapped in, um, you really are the real deal, and you have spiritual protection. Yeah, these people, this married couple that tried to do something here, they made a bad decision, and they're on the wrong side of the Wheel of Fortune, so they have bad luck coming their way. There's a group of people here that's coming together to support this High Priestess, or work with this High Priestess. Maybe this married couple didn't see this coming. <clears throat> There's a group here, a community, that could be finding out what this married couple did, that they're not held in high honor, that they're very despicable, that they do shady business deals or business practices this could be a couple that rips people off that scams people um they use underhanded tactics like i said they're not natural born leaders they're very shady so this king of pentacles and this king of swords could have been in a relationship and this king of swords in the reverse then partnered up with this married couple to do something to a divine high priest high priestess energy here there's a decision that has been made within the community within a group about who is responsible for making something happen or for causing harm to someone who is in the upright here <clears throat> and that is going to result in a ten of pentacles so this person who's in the upright and um i mean it could be this king of pentacles i'm just going to say this high priestess because that's what's in the row right now so this high priestess energy is going to receive financial stability family security um, you're going to be good. You could be receiving a large um, amount of money, like a settlement or restitution because of what these people did. These people, this married couple, could have to pay something back that they stole. Like if they tried to rip you off or rob you or do some scamming bullshit, you're going to heal from this heartbreak because you have this Ace of Pentacles, new start, new beginning coming. This could be a new job, um, a new home, a new relationship. It could also be a large lump sum of money as well so this um money you're going to be receiving it's going to help you heal heartbreak even a little bit faster so maybe you've had to struggle dealing with these people <clears throat> but um yeah something was not to their benefit um, they didn't make you a solid offer it was not the offer that you've been waiting for you may have um, wanted to work with this married couple you may have thought that they were trying to help you out in some sort of way so this could have to do with like a home a business something like that Someone acted as if they were they were trying to help you out, they wanted to work with you, but in reality they were trying to sabotage you, and um, they were either going on the orders of this cold-hearted King of um, Swords, or they could have been being coached by this King of Swords, but, um, you know, they were an energy vampire, they were very cold-hearted, so the intent was to drain you of time, money, energy, resources, something like that, they were trying to take something from you, and they were acting as if they were trying to be caring and compassionate, yeah, someone's being stealthy and sneaky, so you could be moving in silence, or someone is still trying to do some sneaky shit to you because they know you have this money coming to you. And they lied with Ace of Swords. There was a big lie that they were trying to keep from being exposed, that um, they were not trying to help you out, that they, they had malicious intent behind some sort of offer that they were trying to give you. But the offer was bullshit, and it was a cover. There was some sort of illusion. There was a lie that was told or presented. And they don't want this lie being exposed because it could it could land them in some hot water here. But there's a decision that's going to be made that's going to work out for this person who's in the upright. <clears throat> they created an imbalance here. You're working hard. 
Someone is working really hard. They're putting forth the effort. They're trying to manifest. They're growing. They're trying to build something. Your hard work is going to pay off. You're manifesting, I told you. Something is being laid to rest. Something was being laid to rest. Somebody wants something to be laid to rest. It's like they're trying to cover up something. So something. So the truth about what they did doesn't get exposed. So they want something laid to rest. They're trying to use intimidation tactics, possibly fear tactics, to cover something up. But something is being laid to rest regarding this bullshit lie. They, they just brought bad luck upon themselves by the shit that they did because you're in your Queen of Pentacles energy, you know, you're good with money, budgeting, financing, so your hard work is paying off. You could be working on saving money to try to get out of a negative situation, especially if this is part of, <clears throat> you know, if they have people working with them to, like, stalk you, harass you, you know, try to make you paranoid or some crazy shit like that. Yeah, you're healing. You healed from something. Your healing is what is bringing this transformation because you healed from a very bad betrayal here. And that's what's putting an end to something and bringing in something new for you. That's why something is transforming. You put in the hard work. You did your shadow work. You healed emotionally. Somebody could have been using emotional tactics to try to manipulate you or cause you some sort of pain. That's what that King of Swords was working with. This married couple... They were trying to take something from you. I'm just strongly getting they were trying to take something very important from you. Um, they could have even worked together to cause you to lose your children or your child. Or they were just being really childish. This Queen of Wands in the reverse, the challenge here is, this Queen of Wands here is in the reverse, and this person may have to give you this money. You may be receiving, um, you know, a new start or a new beginning because of what this Queen of Wands in the reverse did, so this feminine energy that's connected to this married cup, you know, this married pair here, you have a new start, a new beginning coming. You could be getting enough money to purchase a home or move or buy a car, or you're going to end up in a new relationship. <clears throat> Because of what this person did. We have a king of wands here. That could be trying to take your gifts. They're, they created a financial imbalance. So this king of wands may have to be... You know, the, the, queen, the queen of wands came out in the reverse. This king of wands here with the six of pentacles. They have to balance something out. This king and queen of wands is going to have to um, give a gift or gift something, make financial balance. So someone's going to have to return some money because there was an illusion created around a situation. And there's a tower moment coming with justice. So this king of wands is going to have to pay out something to bring balance. This king and queen of wands, this married couple here, there was an illusion surrounding what they did. Um, like I said, if they ripped someone off or used some sort of scamming tactics to steal something, there's a big tower moment coming because they were hiding their true inner personality and events are out of everyone's control at this time because there's justice that has to be restored. Something has to be balanced out here. Libra energy. <clears throat> that balance has to come back. You could be receiving this gift from this king of wands um yeah somebody was addicted and obsessed with creating an illusions to keep you in an emotional state um you could suffer from like ptsd or something like that or some sort of trauma and somebody was addicted to you, trying to use that against you and keep you in a traumatic state <clears throat> secrets are being exposed though your gifts are talents eight of pentacles whatever you do um, for work or possible, you know, whatever you're doing, it possibly brings you resources and you're going to receive some sort of communication or someone is getting the message or communication about what you do for work or some sort of money that you're receiving regarding your gifts or talents here. 
So someone is finding out that you really are a high priestess. So if you do anything with spirituality and maybe, I don't know, if you make a few bucks doing it or something like that, someone may have thought you were just doing it for money. They didn't think that you were really gifted or talented, but um, they're finding out because they were obsessed with doing some bullshit to you and they thought they were not going to ever have to pay for the consequences of their actions and that's just not the case. Those scales have to be balanced out. There's an investigation. <clears throat> There's a decision that needs to be made at crossroads. There could be a stalemate here with the two of swords. Somebody could have a decision to make or somebody is at a stalemate because they can't overpower a high priestess, they have to accept something for what it is, and that somebody was not an official person, the Hierophant, um, they could have, they were obsessed, there could have been an obsession with someone trying to make you look like you were not real or authentic, so they kept attacking you to try to make you look like you were a fraud or something, like you weren't protected, and they got some sort of thrill out of this, so if something bad would happen to you, it's like they would celebrate, and they would be like, ah, oh, see, they're not protected, they're not a real deal, um, but somebody got some bad advice from a spiritualist. Somebody could have been addicted to getting like readings or something like that. And something that they were told, it was not accurate or they read their own energy wrong. So <clears throat> like even in this reading, um, you know, if you're in the upright, you would be like the King Queen of Pentacles energy that came out in the upright. But there's one of these motherfuckers here, the King or Queen of Wands or the King of Swords that would be looking at this reading and they're like, yeah, I'm the King of Pentacles, I'm in the upright. And so they think all this good stuff's going to be happening for them. And meanwhile, they are walking right into this tower moment and they, they're screwed. Okay. Like somebody is just not re I'm hearing reading the room, read the room. Someone's not reading the energy correctly. <clears throat> They feel like they're in the upright, and they are the furthest thing from the upright that you could get. I, I mean, someone is just... Oh. Because this high, priestess, this high priestess energy, you know, they caused a betrayal. They caused a betrayal here. There's someone here who's fighting a lot of conflicts, you know, just them and the divine, you know, by themselves. And they're create they're fighting all these conflicts because they were created intentionally. It's like somebody betrayed another person by setting up all these scenarios to try to make them look like a fraud. And they were the ones who are not the real deal. They have no business being in whatever leadership position that they feel like they're worthy of being in. And that's what's going to bring a permanent ending. There's a ten of swords. This unofficial person here, it's over for them. You're moving on to calmer waters. They can't stop you. You still get this new start, this new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles keeps coming out. They're going to owe you some money. Or at least they're going to have to leave you alone when you enter in this new cycle that you move away from these people. When you have this new start, this new beginning, they're not going to be able to control you anymore. Or have any power or authority. Not that they did, but they, they're under an illusion that they are. So they... These people feel like they're in control of something and they're not. There was something really dark. There was something really shocking and surprising regarding somebody who was dark and using underhanded tactics regarding a child. So somebody did something really dark involving a child and there's this masculine energy here. So somebody, this King of Swords, was um, really upset about... A lack of commitment maybe you walked away from this person <clears throat> because of what they were doing right from the very beginning you know your heart wasn't opened up because this person was emotionally distant because they were confused about their sexuality dealing with another masculine um and uh, so they wanted to hurt you by affecting your children so whatever tactics that they hooked up then they utilized um the the their connections here with this married couple and they tried to take your children away get them taken away by causing all this conflict in this bad situation so um they intentionally were causing these imbalances like okay so say say this married couple owned um a business um like in real estate something like that so say you rented from these people or whatever and um so everything in the house like it maybe it's not livable or suitable to uh, inhabit or something like that but yet they could have called cps on you or tried to have you investigated for something so it's like the home was like 
not even fit to really be living in. But on top of the fact that they scammed you out of this money, then on top of that, they called in the authorities to make it look like you were like this horrible person, that you were nasty, that you shouldn't have your children because of this. But in reality, it was because they set you up with this shitty ass house and they just didn't want you to have your child and they could have been paid off by this king of swords like man this person was really cold-hearted this king of swords really wanted you to lose a child and this married couple didn't give a shit about you your family your children and i hope they know that the energy they put out is what they're getting back so when their asses go to jail and they lose their fucking children and they're in foster care and all this shit that is their karma these motherfuckers fucked around and they're gonna find out and they don't think they, they think this shit's funny like oh um it's not us it's we're not doing anything we're just over here minding our business we're not trying to set you up yes you are there's a connection between this married couple and that king of swords heavy 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 they could be friends maybe they party together maybe they have threesomes together um I don't know, maybe, maybe this uh, female was jealous that this masculine wanted to come towards you and not, uh, you know, engage in their little orgies together. I don't know, but someone's going to help you out and there's going to be a tower moment. There's unexpected help in a tower moment and some shocking shit because you're coming up out of this wilderness. And these motherfuckers celebrated too soon because someone is hiding. They're wearing a disguise here. And that is where your help's going to come from. You don't know where this help is coming from, but someone is hiding Uh, they're they're wearing a disguise but it, it's it's in a good way like it's like they you don't know that this person is going to help you out and help you come out of the wilderness somebody was a whore somebody tried to say you were a whore they celebrated something too soon they were jealous and envious of this person possibly even thinking about wanting to, to settle down with you they wanted to keep this you know, and it could even be the King of Swords was a whore, you know, they were non-committal, they didn't want to settle down, but they wanted their cake, they wanted to eat it too. This married couple here didn't want to give that up. I mean, this is some messed up shit. They didn't, they didn't want to give up their, um, situationship. I mean, this... This King of Swords could have even paid them with sexual favors, like, hey, you know, I'll, I'll satisfy you and your wife if uh, you do this for me. Like, this is some nasty shit. This is just some... You're a good witch, you're a light worker. Somebody didn't pay attention to their dreams. They didn't want... Somebody didn't want you to pay attention to your dreams. Someone could have been trying to affect your dream state. Someone needs to get a dream catcher or do something. Protect yourself at night before you go to sleep. Maybe you need to throw some salt under your bed or something. You already know too much, and that's what bothers them. They want to know where you're getting your information from, how you're... Um, I want to say ten steps ahead of them. There's someone suffering in silence because you know. But they feel butterflies near you, or you know, someone needs to get their emotions in check. Someone's suffering in silence because they actually want to deal with you or be with you, but they did too much, and they don't want to give up their player ways. You know, I said something about swingers with that king and queen of wands in the reverse, so. But this person projects their own shit on you. So if they said you were a whore, you were this, that, and the other, they could have tried to convince the whole community that you were shady. You know, they, they wanted you to suffer, like, not just a little bit. This person knew that maybe your kids meant to watch you or something. And they really wanted you to lose your child or children and, and like, suffer the utmost um, pain. It's like somebody wanted to hit you where it really hurt. And so they projected their own nasty shit onto you. <clears throat> so this person was spreading rumors about you. Oh, you're being guided by your ancestors. Someone's being guided by their ancestors here. They could be feeling lonely because um, they're feeling embarrassed or ashamed about what they did to you. So they could be isolating or they may maybe feel like you're lonely because you're by yourself. Um, this person needs to heal their childhood wounds. 
because you are being guided by your ancestors, you're staying away from this person, you don't want to deal with them, and they are feeling embarrassed or ashamed, and they're suffering in silence, they're not going to tell anyone this, because they enjoy what they do, they enjoy that dark side, they enjoy those sexual escapades that they involve themselves in, but they need to heal their childhood wounds. They could have a spirit attachment, um, a lustful, like a demon or something like that, um, spun from like childhood wounds that they needed to heal. They could have been like this their whole life, but instead of doing the shadow work and healing and growing, they don't want to go through the transformation. That was the very first card that came out in the reverse was transform and the reverse. This person didn't want to transform. They didn't want something to change because they enjoy what they do. They like it. But it's also embarrassing. They also don't want people to know about it either. They don't want people to know that they enjoy men and women. You know what I mean? Cord cutting is needed. Or you did a cord cutting and they can't access your energy anymore. That You know, it's been cut. <clears throat> this person uses a texting app, late night phone calls. They have a second phone. So you cut this person off because you knew that they were doing shady shit. They were meeting up with people. They could have legit been a prostitute or something. Like they could have been receiving gifts, presents, you know, exchanging favors for, you know presence or you know it's like well uh, it's like a bartering system kind of thing so you cut this person off because you caught on to what they were doing someone who is in the upright isn't hiding their communication um with other people or they or you could have caught some sort of communication that they were doing and they spun some crazy bullshit um like oh this means something else and it's like no, dude, this this is very clear. Like, someone tried to gaslight you when you saw something. Um, if you did. Some of you did. Some of you may have been clueless. But I feel like if you cut this person off, you caught them doing something. Either with a second phone or texting or communication. And it very clearly looked like there was some same-sex shit going on. Like, it was very clear that they were meeting up with some dude to do something, and they're like, no, that's not what it meant. It meant something else. We were just meeting up to talk about this, that, and the other. And it was complete lie, complete bullshit. And you knew. And so you cut this person off. You're like, okay, this person is obviously not committed to me. They're dealing with other shit. They can't even admit that they were doing this shit. It's like this person couldn't be honest with you for anything. <clears throat> All this person did was make you angry. Like, they triggered you over and over again. Like, you couldn't get any rest when you were around this person. Your hair could have been falling out and shit. There's an investigation that's involved surrounding this shit. I'm just hearing it's sad. It's so sad. It didn't have to be this way. So, I don't know. But I'm just hearing it's sad. It didn't have to turn out like this. Somebody ripped you off. They tried to rip you off. They're still trying to rip you off. Somebody got ripped off. They were promised something. <clears throat> in the winter time, air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra again in the reverse, and then Cancer in the reverse. <laughs> Confirmation of something here dark and stormy night so you're coming out of a dark and stormy night from all these people with your new start your new beginning somebody was crying the burning question what's it all about the almighty dollar somebody was a dime a dozen they're holding a grudge so somebody wasn't special somebody didn't feel special somebody wanted to be treated like they were the only one here um somebody deserved to be treated like they were the only one <clears throat> But they were a dime a dozen whore. Somebody was a common whore. Um, so common, so cheap, blood for blood. Great song. Great, very fitting for this situation. Somebody just opens up for anything and everything. They didn't discriminate. They, they actually value... Like, they place their self-worth on how attractive they are to other people. Um, sexually, like what they do sexually, like, I don't know, this is really weird energy, but somebody's not getting a clean slate, they could not make the best out of a bad situation because they can't get out of something that they put themselves in. Taurus could be significant, so a Taurus put themselves in a bad situation and they don't get a clean slate, they don't get a new beginning. 
they were a fool, and they're gonna stay a fool. <clears throat> Leo could be significant. Someone's as poor as a church mouse. Someone's headed into poverty here because they're stubborn as a mule. So the stubborn person, like I said, all the shit they wished upon you, including this married couple, they all have to face the karma because they were all connected to this to cause you harm. And all you were doing was <clears throat> minding your business. Maybe you expected to be loved, you know, give love, whatever. You reap what you sow in the reverse. They didn't think they were going to have to reap what they sow. But they did something too many times. Three strikes, you're out. They struck out. Like, it's over. They thought something would be as easy as one, two, three. But something was, you know, it was easier said than done. They really had something planned out here about how something was going to work out, how everyone would benefit, how all these karmics would benefit off of a divine being here. And all they did was try to hurt this person, cause them harm, harass them. And someone's facing jail. Someone's going to jail because they, they tried to be a thief. They stole something. They ripped you off. And they don't see this coming. They, they don't think that this is going to happen to them. It's unfortunate. These came out sideways, so this is near future energy. Patience is a virtue here. <clears throat> because these people thought that something would be like stealing candy from a baby. They underestimated you. But against all odds, there's some boundaries that are going to be set where you set strong boundaries in place. You protected yourself. You drew the line. Say you're a witch, whatever. You threw that soul down and you said, you can't cross this shit. And then they tried it and they found out. They're going to find out because you're sharp as a tack. You're not stupid. <clears throat> and i'm not saying you had to throw salt down or anything i'm just saying there's a line that was drawn if they were attacking you spiritually you protected yourself spiritually if they were trying to set you up rob you you took precautions to protect yourself in the physical realm and so they can't do um whatever dark shit they were planning on doing q could be significant person place or thing F. I. Someone's gonna get a gift. H. You deserve it. I mean, you deserve this new start, this new beginning. These people really worked hard to cause you some sort of harm, and these these scales have to be balanced out. I two eyes someone's being watched they don't believe it they don't know it they feel like they're not being investigated for the shady shit because they've gotten away with it for so long and they've done it to so many people a but they are <clears throat> ai someone's using technology someone is being watched through technology g um, feds could be watching somebody um tracing someone's ip or something like that and one more and another a so i have two a's two i's so ai is definitely significant something to do with technology spying someone's being watched someone's in the hangman energy someone's stuck they can't move forward there's barriers they can't get something done and they're pissed off they can't they can't finish ripping somebody off so i have hqf and g two a's and two i's i hope this helps have a good day